Hello, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to create this slice effect. We're going to start by deleting the cube. Then we're going to go into File and Import the FBX file. You can use any object for this tutorial. Increase the size of the mesh. Press S to increase the size. Then go to Object, Set Origin, Geometry to Origin to center the object. We're going to select the object and go to Modifier and add a subdivision surface to smoothen it out. I'm going to select the camera and hide it for the time being. Select the mesh and Control D to duplicate and then hide the duplicate. Shift A, select a cube, drag it into place. Use the scale tool to resize the cube. And move it inside the face. Resize the cube and scale it along the x-axis. Press the tilt key and go to the right view. Control D to duplicate and then move it behind. Control D and duplicate it again and then repeat the same action. Select the cubes and press Ctrl J to join them together. Duplicate them by Ctrl D and then move them front. Select all of them together and press Ctrl J to join them. Select the cubes. Go to Edit, Preferences, go to Add-ons and make sure Ball Tool is checked. Also, go to Input and make sure Emulate Numpad is checked. Make sure the cubes are selected first, then select the head and press Ctrl minus. We have created the sliced effect. The cubes don't need to be visible. Select the head. Go to Modifier Properties, select Difference, click on Solver Options and check Hole Tolerant. This will make the cubes transparent even when the cubes are moving. You can also go to Intersect and play around to see what you like. I'm going to stay on Difference. I'm going to apply a material to the head. Go to shading. Click on new. Increase metallic to one. Change the roughness to 0 0.066. Shift A and search image texture. Click open, I'm going to apply a rough texture image onto the head. Shift A and search color ramp. Link color to the factor and then the color to the roughness. Go to base color and make the color darker and lower the value. Play around on the color ramp to see what you like. Go to color space 
and change it to non-color. Hold Shift A and search for Mix Shader. Add in a image texture. We're going to link the color to the factor. Go on open and I'm going to apply another texture on top of the head. Change uh, color space to non color. Add in a color ramp. So what I've done is I've applied a scratch texture. The white parts will represent the scratches and the black parts will just represent the negative parts of the image. I'm going to add in a HDR image. So go to world environment texture open go to render mode to make sure the image was imported in I'm going to change the roughness slightly using the color ramp Gonna to go to layout. I'm gonna select the cubes and add in a animation. So if we select the box, press I, and select location. This will add a keyframe. We're gonna to go to layout mode. And then we're going to go to frame 20, then move the box. Select the box and apply another keyframe. On the timeline, go to frame zero, copy the first frame, control C and paste it on the last frame, which will be 40. Control V to paste. I'm going to go to the timeline and reduce the amount of frames to 40. You can make the duration of the animation longer if you'd like by moving the frames. Click on viewport shading. So if you play the animation, the box will move. You can also go to render properties and change EV to cycles for a more realistic look. One thing that you have to remember to do is to delete the duplicate of the head. If you don't, the render will come out very weird. So that's one important thing you have to remember to do. You can also make the background transparent if you want another image behind the object. You can also add in a camera and change the position to see what you like. Hide the cubes and here we have the final outcome. Thank you guys for watching.